Um, thank you for joining me for the next series of the Pueblo Art Walks. I'm Megan Wilbar, the museum coordinator for the Info Zone at the Rawlings Library. And while our exhibition space is closed, I've been doing a series of work that kind of focuses on the community of our, um, in Pueblo, the artworks and the artists themselves. Um, this is a second part of a, a two-part series of studio tours. So this goes into the studio spaces of Sophie Healy, uh, Teresa Vito, Matthias Valdez, um, Karen Scherer, and Jeff Nadine. Um, two of our artists are from Pueblo West, both Sophie Healy and Karen Scherer. Um, and they have studio spaces that are both um, home spaces, but are both completely different. Um, Sophie Healy works from her kitchen um, table, kind of a more portable space that she brings out and can pack away. Karen Scherer built a studio adjacent to her home that um, houses her large abstract works. So they're, they're both really um, interesting. Uh, Teresa Vito also works from her home, um, but hers is a permanent space in her living room, which is the largest room in her house. Um, Jeff Maydeen works from his studio space, which is Blowback Gallery, um, which is a visual arts exhibition space as well as a performance art space, and also includes his shop and um, studio. And Matthias Valdez uh, works doing screen printing, and he's um, at his own studio space on Main Street. So this video will take you into all of them, give you a little bit more information into the artists' lives and their studio practice, um, and hopefully you have appreciation for kind of the public art scene that's happening right now. So let me just show it to you. This, this art walk, studio tour edition, edition, continues with five artists working in both Pueblo and Pueblo West. Each artist gives insight into their studio practice and offers a glimpse of their studio. This tour includes Sophie Healy, Teresa Vito, Matthias Valdez, Jeff Dean, and Karen Scherer. As a full-time mom to a two-year-old, Sophie Healy's time is extremely limited, so she usually does most of her artwork at night. Her setup includes listening to her playlist on Spotify, making a cup of coffee or tea at her kitchen table. Since moving back to Pueblo, she doesn't have a studio space set up yet, so she's come up with a portable studio that is packed into two containers that can easily be packed up from little hands. Sophie is a graphic designer and illustrator using both traditional drawing materials as well as digital media. Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator primarily. As a graphic designer, she has designed logos and artwork for use in festivals, schools, newsletters, including a recent commission for the Pueblo Library District for a revamp of their newsletter. She enjoys working in digital media as the majority of the work is done on her Surface Pro, which can easily be transported and can be done anywhere there is Wi-Fi. She enjoys working with different clients to create a unique piece of artwork for their brand. As an illustrator, her current body of work is a series dedicated to the zodiac signs. In working on the series, she wanted the signs to be represented by our natural world. In each composition, the sign is represented by a window in the shape of a symbol of its assigned element, air, earth, water, and fire. Along the animal assigned to each zodiac sign, there are specific plants associated directly with the zodiac representation and the season in which they are found. Each illustration in the Zodiac series was created with layers of different media. The background was created using watercolor. Then she added ink to create contrast and interest. Finally, chalk pastel is added for the animal that symbolizes the sign. After the artwork is created, she photographed and uploaded the image to Photoshop to clean it up and make prints to sell. She loves being able to work on the artwork from home. It allows her to be a mom and an artist. To see more of Sophie's work, visit her at sophiehealyart.com. Teresa Vito's paintings reflect the beauty she sees all around her. She loves painting living energy, whether it is in the outdoor landscape, berries and flowers picked for a still life, or the unending variety of the human face. Teresa has been a full-time painter since 1992. She works in her Pueblo home studio on a still life from a photo she's taken and viewed from a really paint-splattered laptop, or she ventures outside to paint plain air. Her big figurative pieces are derived from a bunch of photos and her imagination. She used to paint at least six days a week. The last couple of years, her hands and body have been giving out, so she gets in about three hours, maybe four times a week. <laughs> Teresa has hundreds of ideas for paintings and knows she will never run out. There's so much to paint that only age will halt her. 
One of her proudest achievements is the painting for the Pueblo Chili's brand and the accompanying license plate. Not being a commercial artist, it truly amazes her. She creates work in all subject matters and rarely sketches it out, unless it's a very complicated figurative piece. She sketches with her brush and usually just tries to figure out where her center of interest is placed and starts painting from there. That area is done all the way from start to finish and the rest is done less detailed, less contrast, and less intensity working from the focus out. Lisa makes her living being in six galleries and entering a few national shows a year. She also teaches two to three workshops a year, many in exotic places so she can travel and get great photo references. She's known as a knowledgeable and enthusiastic teacher. She's also the moderator for the group Urban Sketchers of Pueblo, which meets every week to sketch outside and in Pueblo. Check them out on their Facebook page, Urban Sketchers of Pueblo, and Teresa at TeresaVito.com. Matthias Valdez opened Last Leaf Printing and Design in 2009 on Union Avenue. He resided there for 10 years until this past October when he moved to 426 West 5th Street, which is where his studio is currently located. Matthias is an independent artist whose primary medium is flat stock screen printing, which is screen printing on paper or other flat substrates. Most of his work is commercial. These days, he focuses on the gig poster work when it comes to printing. It's his main source of income. He is hired by bands, organizations, and sometimes individuals to create screen printed poster art for events such as concerts and film screenings. Over the years, he has worked for acts including, but not limited to Bruce Springsteen, Daft Punk, the Avett Brothers, Alabama Shakes, and even film studios like Marvel and Paramount. His work is a mixture of digital collage and hand illustration. The other half of the work is printmaking itself, which can be extremely detailed and time consuming as none of the production is digitized. All of the screen print work is handmade, printed one color at a time on each individual sheet of paper, no matter if the edition is 50 prints or 5,000. He's also started a glasswork series that has been a pet project of his for the last couple of years. The idea of screen printing being processed as one color at a time was the impetus for the introduction of the new medium. With screen printing, everything is broken down into individual solid color layers, and being as though he is so accustomed to viewing artwork as layered pieces, he thought it would be an interesting idea to create a piece of artwork where the color layers are actually separated by physical distance. It took him well over a year to develop the actual method for the idea, and it took quite a few heads being put together to finally come up with all of the solutions. But in the end, he was able to create a new form of 3D artworks on glass, all handmade pieces from start to finish. To see more of his glassworks and screen printing, visit him on Instagram and his website, Last Leaf Prints. In 2016, Jeff Medine relocated to Pueblo. He purchased and renovated a building in the Grove that would become his studio and blowback gallery. The first art show was December 2017. Since the first show, the gallery has had 26 unique solo and group shows, and Jeff is currently contemplating adding 3,000 square feet of exhibit and performance space. Jeff works in his studio every day. He attended both Southern Illinois University and the Art Institute of Chicago. Since the Art Institute, he has always made art. Never has a year gone by that he has not created some kind of work. He was an artist in residence at the Downey VA Hospital, North Chicago, Illinois, where he created and installed five monumental sculptures on the grounds with patients. Jeff is an artist and designer. He was one of three founders of a custom architectural millwork company in Chicago that after 10 years had 55 employees. He was the chief operating officer and head designer of Design Concepts International, a high-end kitchen and bath design firm located in the Chicago Merchandise Mart, and went on to start the manufacturing rep firm in Durango, Colorado in 1995, which started a design firm for kitchens and baths and then branched out into whole house designs. In 2006, he started his art studio practice. He had his first solo show in 2009 entitled I would not believe it, even if it were real. In 2016, he had a show at the Durango Art Center called Obedience, Conformity, Apathy. It's all good. Jeff's work can be seen at Blowback Gallery and on his website. After moving to Pueblo West in early 2018, Karen Scherer had the opportunity to build a studio building adjacent to her home. She finds that the more time she spends working, the more comfortable and productive it gets. 
She has been fortunate to always have had a studio space located in or around her home, which has given her the freedom to pretty much work on whatever schedule suited her and has allowed her to integrate painting into her life at a level that wouldn't have been possible. That level of integration has its pluses and minuses as the demands of daily life ebb and flow around the demands of making time to create. However, after many years of working and living in close proximity, she knows that having the ability to spend a few moments or a few hours in the studio with no more than a few short steps to get there has enhanced her work and has added balance and satisfaction to her everyday life. These paintings begin as a series of loose glazes of color. As shapes and impressions emerge, successive layers of transparent and opaque paint are applied to develop and enhance the structure, design, and impact of the piece. These layers produce an infinite variety of hues and effects, which cannot be achieved solely by mixing color on the palette. The interplay of contrast, movement, texture, balance, shape, line, and color creates images that draw the viewer into the creative process, inviting them to see not just with the eye, but also with the heart. Inspiring the viewer to respond to the image she's created is a critical part of bringing each painting to life. To see more of Karen's paintings and inspiration, visit her at sharefineart.com. And thanks to these five artists who opened their doors to their studio and their studio practice. This Art Log Studio Tour Edition continues with five artists working. And thank you for joining me for this round. Uh, stay tuned for the next um, two weeks and there'll be another one.